You ready? Under the lights, Waterloo 2021 NDA attorney talk. Summer vacation. Under the lights. What the hell are you two doing? <laughs> this is not. We're getting ready to go on vacation with you. One well, weekend. <laughs> no. no. This is the. Bag. I this... my flip flops. <laughs> no. No. Wait, wait. <laughs> Where's the good stuff? I even brought one. We don't need this stuff? No. This is Gatorade. This is the ultimate business trip. This is, we are going up there with class and dignity. And we're going to win with class and lose with class. I'm planning on losing, so. This is the ultimate, we don't have time for any of this. We go up there and it's hockey, straight hockey. This is my last chance for redemption of anything this season by the looks of it. Hmm. So you're going to get it in Waterloo, Iowa. Waterloo, Iowa it is, yes. So you're going to have to put off your little vacation or whatever the hell you got going on there. Only for two weeks. Oh, good lord. Hmm. So what's going on? Under the lights. We're talking Waterloo. That's what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe there was like a Waterloo, Florida or something. <laughs> Not that well, I'm sure there might be. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell you what, the way it's, I'm looking forward to getting up there. The way it's going right now down here, I may never come back. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wonder if Waterloo, if they have like roster transactions up there. Do they have enough players for roster yeah. transactions? Oh, I'm sure they do. Hmm. Like, I was looking, like at teams that could be rostered down up there mm -hmm. for D4, the Natty Daddies. Like they're, Natty Light? Yeah. Natty uh, yeah. Oh. They're four and two. Because you want to be on one of those middle teams that just needs a little oomph to get up to the top. I think they'd be right there. I think they'd be a good fit for me, and I like the name. Mm -hmm. You know, a roster transaction for all you three people who want to to watch us is <laughs> you cut your bad players. And then you bring in a good player and you're on three in a season. And you tell that bad person that, hey, sorry, you shouldn't have done that racist thing you just did. And we're going to have to let you go. You know, something like that. <laughs> you know, say that's unacceptable within our organization. We do not allow that. And then you bring in a good person that's good at hockey. Like you? And you might feel bad about it the next day doing something like that because you lied because that person really didn't do anything racist, but got to win the game, right? So, anyways, you know, and then I was also looking up, they're still using their old, old website like we were last year. I noticed that. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. I, I, I kind of, I'm starting to like the new one. Child, please. Have you seen the calendar? I've seen the suspension page. That's getting longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Um, bless you. You okay? No? <laughs> All right. Then I also noticed more Waterloo facts is there's a team called the Yetis up there. Really? Shockingly, they're in first place, huh? Just like down here. Hmm. They're 5-1 and one in D3 in first place, so good it's for them. It's not a team I would think of for hockey. Are they related? Yeah, they asked They asked if they could have permission down here to use that team name. Okay, very cool. So, yeah, there's a little Waterloo Quad City. People get together. We've seen that in recent tourneys where they get together for Waterloo, you know, or mm -hmm. half Quad City, half Waterloo. So, that's cool to see. Uh, I did notice they have 14 teams in three leagues. Guess how many teams you actually need to host an NDA tourney? Adult leagues. I'm like, guess 10 or 12. No, it's actually 15. What? Yeah. Then how are they That's how Nick 14? told me. Well, okay. 7 plus 4 plus 3 equals what? 14. Right. I think that they're doing Canadian math. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys better have a secret team up yeah, your sleeves or something. So, 
but that is what it is for the old uh waterloo up there so obviously we got like 80 some teams down here in the quad city so we are obviously the the big ditch of the nda and speaking of which all the views of this program are of course are expressed by me and you and not quad city deck hockey waterloo deck hockey glencoe deck hockey springfield deck hockey and the nda which i found out is not the national donut association really yeah no. it's a national deck association so but let's get right into it because i'm excited to talk about the tourney and not this regular season that we're doing down here in the quad cities so let's get to it and talk some d1 action <laughs> come to college game day. I'm excited for college season. Yeah. Yeah. Lee Kors was my hero. What a fucking American. <laughs> Just a great oh, guy. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, D1, there's uh, five teams in D1 battling out for the big prize of money. We got the BD Bandits starting us off. Woo yeah, that's right. The old baby blue right off the bat. We got Charlie Girache and Barry and Ryan Plum and Dylan Cock and Andy Habercorn out of Fresh Out of College Aww. for the summer. Sean Clark and Little Fry and then that Big Fry. So that's a that's a solid lineup, obviously. What do you see there? Winning team. Oh, yeah, winning team would be alright. <laughs> Be all right, because right now in the regular season, for, for D1 I think is doing okay, but BD Bandits as a whole, uh, we might have to change our names to SD Bandits instead of BD Bandits right now. Yes, SD. SD. <laughs> what? Oh, you, know, you got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, just a thought. I mean. Now I'm gonna get taunted by that now that I mentioned it, but. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, <laughs> moving on. Next. <laughs> Number two, the QC crew. Nick Levesque. Bob Cassett, the younger one. Okay, so wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the older one's camping right now. They don't yeah. want the goon on their D1 no, team. No, <laughs> they don't want that goon. Perry Jacobs, my hero. Mr. Mio. Mickle Wright. Schoonover. I think he's a Waterloo boy. Hmm. Mr. Devin Alby. He should be flip flop to the bandits. Yeah, why Mr. is he Alby. Not well, he's actually shy. placed for the crew, but that's cool. He looks okay in yellow. Mm -hmm. Not as good as in blue, but he looks okay. And then uh, Marchese and Goal. I can't remember where like the, the hell he's from. Game. Maybe he's from, but yeah, I remember seeing the name of the summer tourney, so that's an excellent lineup as well. Agreed? Yes, I think so. Yeah, there's no QC holes. crew usually brings it. Yeah, they do, yeah, because they want to keep the money. You know, Nick and Patty would like to keep the money that they put out by winning. Yep. It just goes right back to the golfers. All right, the number three, the Deck Hogs. Oh, yeah, this is new. yeah, hmm. but it's uh, I looked it up. It's some Waterloo, it's actually they got a team in Waterloo right now. Dick Hogs, so Cole Ladisuck, Happos, uh, the other scoon over, Kyle Schott, Ethan Fox, and Weber and Gall. So I've heard of some of those names. I think some of them have been down in Quad Cities some time or two. Uh, so I can't tell you much about them, but if I'm aware of some of these names, they're gonna have a good team. Number four, Domino's Pizzeria, if you want to call it that. It smells so good tonight, though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Levesque, Nick Swisher, Blake Wareham, 
Big D. Big D. Big D. I'm so glad to see him. So glad to see him back in summer. He's, I love talking to him. And he's now working right over here down also. My, I'm aware. Isaiah Conrad, one of the old Spartans. Uh, Devin Preto. I played him the other night in uh, D3. That was not a pleasant experience. You played a D1 player in D3. <laughs> well, I think you might be right D2. Huh, okay. Yeah. Uh, he's skilled. Really skilled. Yeah, he's fast and he's got a great shot. Ben Strotman, he's actually a Dubuque boy. I'd like to apologize <laughs> on camera to Ben Strotman for that little incident in Chicago. That was me. Nobody has ever seen you act like that in deck, and I think you, oh. <laughs> your jaws hit the floor when you did that. Like spectator jaws hit the floor. That was... Come to find out, he's like the one of the nicest guys at deck. So I'm sorry. I'm usually not like that. He's really a nice guy. Yeah, so like... please accept my apology. I, uh, and I hope you have a good time at Waterloo, Mr. Ben Strauffman. It's been like two years. <laughs> uh, and I'm just now getting around to apologizing. Because cool. I didn't have my own show two years ago now. He has a we platform do. to apologize. Yeah, to I, have a, now. I have a huge platform of like five followers. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's like 12. Yeah. Huh? Five followers. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank Next. you. Uh, and then Marty Filion in goal. So you got huh. Big D playing with his dad. So that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Marty's still got it. It's so fun to watch. Marty's just, just an animal in goal. It's just crazy how good he is. So... That team, damn good too. That's why they're all D1 teams, I guess, eh? Number five, the Glencoe Bazookas. So welcome our newest franchisees from Glencoe. We should bring them some bubble gum. Um, Bazooka bubblegum. Okay, you bring them gum. You just leave the stupid comments to me. <laughs> uh, John Scully. Hmm. I feel like I've heard that name. Well, you should because he played ice before. I think he played oh, a few okay. games with a storm. Okay. For sure. I think it was a storm. When the storm played hockey. Ice hockey. I know they got like 10 deck hockey teams. Tom Scully. So I'm just going to assume they're related. I would guess so. Yeah. And then a couple of McGee brothers and a couple other guys I'm not aware of. And Sam Nelson and goal, which... How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, probably call down here and say, Patty, we need a goalie, and we need yeah. your best goalie, and that's available, and that happened to be Sam, I'm okay. sure. Yep. So, Sam will do a hell of a job. The goalies is going to be fun to watch. I love watching the tourney D1 teams play. It's more, it's, it's fun. Better, it's more fun than even playing. So, I... We're going to need that for Can our... Can I put my phone back up by the thing? Please, thank you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, thank you. So, that's good. I Out of all these teams... Oh. Crew, maybe? I well, don't know. Crew or Domino's probably be my pick right off the bat, but... They seem to always kind of be in the yeah, last... Yeah, yeah, especially in Waterloo. It'll be fun to watch, for sure. Okay. So, let's move on to D3. <laughs> Do you want to talk to Dick Hockey? No. Uh, what's she yelling for? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where water lives? No. Or just Jack Hockey in general. Long time. I don't know. Yeah, I'll see. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hefty. Straight Hefty. Alright, you go. Complicated by Miss Avril Levine, a Canadian. She sings um, Christian music now. Oh, really? Never would have guessed There's it. Some Canadian, she's probably been to a game or two. So. Probably. She's probably played hockey. 
Thanks to all of our artists that have lent through their, our music in the now 10 episodes. Should we probably say we do not own the rights to these songs? Well, we kind of do. Don't. <laughs> we kind of do. But thank you. Yes, thanks. We couldn't do it without all of you fine artists. So. <laughs> Was that a wink to uh, Kelsey Ballerini there? No, she don't watch this. But hello, if you're out there, Kelsey, hello. And good evening to you. Waterloo would be a fun tourney to go to if you like hockey. I will uh, be there with you. Yep, you will. Six teams in D3. Okay. I, can, I mm. You know, down here I've been enjoying three plus actually the most out of the leagues I watch because they're still damn skilled, but they're humble enough to know, you know, they can't play D1. Well, they can't play D1, but... I'm not on a regular basis typically, so they're a little more humble. So, number one, FP, and I have no idea what the hell that stands for. Do you? Is there. Should I Google it? I have no idea. I really don't know. Huh. Okay. Well, Hayden Foss looks to be their scorer, and there's three Harris brothers, none of them not named Kyle Harris or Garrett Harris. Hmm. So, I have no idea where the hell they're from or who they are, but that usually scares me. I'd rather be well aware if someone's good, so I know right away I'm not going to be in trouble instead of being surprised. <laughs> so, good luck to FP. Just assume that they're fantastic and oh, then go and fantastic balls FP. To balls to the wall. <laughs> Number two, Jen's Day Pat. That's Pat's people translated. I did look that up. <laughs> so Pat's got some people. Here's some people. Joe Timpson. Yeah. Michael Holst. You know what Holst, what Paul Reisner pointed out the other night mm -mm. with Michael Holst like in a per man. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 He's big help actually helping me out because he knows uh, the rules and all that. Oh, for scoring. Yeah, yep. he helped me put the rosters together. But anyways, he kind of looks like Grimace in that purple uniform now for days. <laughs> that's me! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that's me. But, yeah, he, what's, that, that, did I say Paul Eisner? Yeah. I just threw him under you the threw bus. Him yeah. Under the bus. Yeah, he was right. <laughs> but <laughs> Joey Dwyer? Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I assume he's out of college, so he'll be able to play here the rest of the summer. So, kid just keeps getting better and better and better. I thought he announced all the sports over there. At yeah, Illinois, Illinois State? Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, oh. but I think summer, summer's off like Maybe everybody so. else. I don't know. You talk to Joey when you're up there. I'm sure he'll talk to you. He's he a Dwyer. No he's a Dwyer. He'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> they, they know how to talk. AJ Wells, young stud muffin, and Shane Nickel and Goal. Good so, choice. Yeah, Shane Nickel and Goal is always a good choice. Even playing <laughs> out, it's a good choice. Mm -hmm. So, it's a good team, but I'm worried. Right now, I'm only counting five people counting the goal. You're allowed eight total, seven forwards. So, man, I. I well, I mean, I, I'm going to be in that division, so I don't want them to get more people. But it, and Joe Timson can run all day. I mean, mm, in the yeah. shorter games, but I'll yeah. probably just leave him there the whole time. And so can Joey, obviously. I mean, they all can, but man, that's going to be tough. But they're all loaded talent wise. So well, who am I to talk? <laughs> Number three. Quad City Treasures! <laughs> Brendan Smith, Sean McMillan, Scott Dalby. Welcome back from Missouri. Marky. Mark Hubert! Hubert with the C on the Mark part of it. <laughs> you know what? Hubert looked excellent last year in the summer training. He lost some weight. Mm -hmm. And usually players that come back are after a long layoff are incredibly rusty. Like it takes them a while to get going again, but he just like right off the bat was scoring at will and doing his thing. Like he just never missed a beat. So 
I'm excited to see Hubie back, and he's such a great guy. John Bear? I could talk about John Bear for a good hour. Apparently, Do you know Johnny? Uh, yeah. JoJo? Mm -hmm. Apparently, I got a penalty against him, and he hasn't forgotten, and I did. Uh, I'm sorry. Bear's a nice guy if you get to talk to him. Yeah. He plays the game hard, but he plays it smart. Uh, Sam Nelson? Hmm. Playing out? Yeah, yeah, he's playing out. He's doing it all. Busy guy. Taylor Davis single. So busy. My guy. My guy. My sister wife. So this team, I think, is going to do some fine things. And they got a lot of hard workers. Brendan Smith can score at will. Anytime he hits it, there's a chance it's going in. Oh, yeah. And he won't. Oh, yeah. And I'm on the team currently. I think they needed a mascot. <laughs> I can, can, <laughs> can I wear like the trash can? That'd be awesome. We could we could make that work. Yeah, I could be like the team mascot of the trash can. Yeah, <laughs> I might make myself useful. You know what? I tin man, tin trash uh, can. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to play D three because this is probably my last chance, maybe, to prove myself up at a higher level. I mean, I know I can every now and then, but to do it on a consistent basis. So. And I know my role will be limited on this team, which is fine. Because with shorter games, you want the better players to play and be on the power play. So hopefully I just come out there and give them a 30, 45 seconds of a hard shift or something. A little energy, just give the other guys a break. But I know my role. So, But I'm excited. I'm always excited to play with these guys. They're all good dudes. I'm excited to watch that team. Yeah. And if not, we'll have a good time at night. Number four, the Southside Stingrays. Uh, I th think they might be the old Galactic Dolphins because of the Chicago mm. action. Okay. Oh, you don't like the Galactic Dolphins? I didn't say that. Oh, okay. Southside Stingrays now, so Southside. <laughs> Is that the bad side of town? Uh, it's not good in some parts. Because so, the Hoity Toity is like Northwest. Yeah. Like the Chicago White Sox or Southside. Where they like, they like to come out of the stands and beat up the umpires and stuff. But anyways, <laughs> uh, a couple of names. Bill Little, Rob Marciano. The, you know, they're going to be talented. And you, you just know you're going you're gonna to be in for a hell of a game when you play the old Stingray. So. Number five, the Waterloo Decknoids. <sighs> Michael Davis. Nick, don't call me Christian Hahn. And Connor Weber and goal. So anybody that's playing on their home turf will have a lot to prove. Uh, Waterloo, every time they've come down here, has proved themselves exceptionally well. Hmm. They've always been talented. They got a lot of talent out there. They don't think they had the, the quantity that we have down here, honestly. Mm -hmm. But all the players out there are quality players. So, And then number six to round out, the Waterloo Warriors. I believe, or no, it was the Gators that went down here a little last year. But uh, how do you pronounce this last name? Kahui. Kahui, think, yeah, yeah. There's a whole, like, army of them in Waterloo, and they're passionate they about hockey. They're good. They're good, and they, I want people to tell me they're very personal people, but I've yeah. never really met them. I don't know what, like. I wouldn't want to play against them. I have, and it's not fun. But I love their passion for the game, and I love that they converse with the people down here. Mm -hmm. They seem like really good people. There's no goaltender listed. Ben Stroutman, the Mr. Dubuque's on this team. Hmm. So they obviously did a great job of recruiting. Yeah, I'd like to meet, like, they must be like the deck gods of Waterloo. Like, I don't know what our Probably. Who the family would be down here. I don't know. Fries. I don't know. Fry. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Beats me. But there's a lot of families that play, so. Yeah. Uh, D3 should be good, man. That's going to be fun to watch, too. But let's... Uh... Hey, I need my phone back. Hey, what the hell are you doing today? You don't have your act together very well. Oh, yeah. Uh, fire a producer. Uh, no. <laughs> we wouldn't fire you. We got nobody else. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and move into... Another one? Yeah, the three divisions, 
sure they enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mo money, mo problems. Nah, mo money, mo awesome. <laughs> Remember that year we actually won up there? I do. That was three years ago. Three actually. years ago, it was. just came up in my oh, Facebook did memories. It? Yep. I was excited to win, obviously. Well, you get out of it a shirt you don't, that doesn't fit at all. Mm -hmm. Not on me. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You get, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> then, what else you get? Little money, you get like an entry fee back and like an extra 10 bucks and a slap on the ass, basically. Saying thanks for coming. But I remember, I remember, we remember, we beat Evan Brewer's team in that game. Mm-hmm. Because I remember watching friends, with Doc and Robbie. Yeah, a lot yeah. of my friends were on that team. And we actually had to give Evan a ride home after. And I just remember after the game, he was just so despondent as a young kid. You know, that's all, everything to you. You know, I felt bad. So we, we took him to Subway, like in mm -hmm. Dyersville, on the way home, right? Or yeah. somewhere. Yep. I told the kid, man, get whatever you want here. You want two, three foot longs? You want <laughs> chips and a cookie? It's all yours. I think we spent the whole 40, 30 bucks or whatever I got right back to him. And I felt <laughs> terrible. I felt terrible actually winning, actually yeah. driving him home because he's such a good kid. He is. Yep. And the whole family is. But it was... He talked our ears over. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's <laughs> you great. think he's a quiet kid. He's not. That's right. Made the time fly for sure. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, I would love to win again, man. It makes you feel better about your game, especially... In this long season where you don't know how to translate, like, man, it, do you, these losses now, do they matter? Do they not matter? Do you freak out? In a short season, you certainly would have. In a long season, I don't know, but it just throws you for a loop. So I'm happy to go up there to see where I stand. So starting to come around a little bit, but I'm excited to play some high-intensity hockey. I love these tourneys with a passion. So let's start off the bat. The Piggy Bandits. Woo -woo. Yeah, Woo Woo was right. How about Johnny Fordyce? We just picked him up just a few days ago. Mr. Raiden couldn't make it, unfortunately, but we got Johnny in. He's uh, excited to put on the Majestic Blue, he called it. Mm. Yeah, so. Magical. Magical. Johnny Will will look magical, so get those picks out. Take a picture of your old Johnny and Bandits uni. That'd be nice. Uh, Christian Hahn, he's matured quite a bit, I would mm -hmm. say, in the last year or two. And he's playing great hockey, even though his scoring might be down a little bit. But D5 here, I think this is a good chance for him to light it up and take, take oh, yeah. leadership of this team because he can. Mm -hmm. He's got the speed, got the skill with Johnny out there with him. The, Team. Good things, yeah. Chris and Elliot Langley. A lot of people don't know about Chris because other than one game, he's always played for the BD Bandits. I mean, he, there's no one more BD than him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he bleeds blue. He absolutely does. He's... Knock it, the, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> then go upstairs and measure yourself. No. Anyways, Chris, yeah, where was I? <laughs> About Chris being a bandit. Yeah. Through and through. Yeah, and watch his game. He can snipe from the point all day now with that new deckhead stick. Last couple of years, he's just on point. And Elliot was our newest addition to our D5 team. I love the kid. He is sweet. He is he's sweet. He has great attitude. He's always learning. He doesn't get down. And it's so cute. He never wants to take the ball away from a girl. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> but yeah, I mean, I love his game. He's, mm -hmm. he's an incredible kid. I would take a, a thousand Elliots or Chris's any day of the week, and they're such fine people. So uh, here's a little couple action: Lucy and Shane Nickel. Lucky ducks. Yeah. 
Lucy, <laughs> I hear where you're going with that. Yep. Lucy's on her D5 bandits team currently, and without her, I would be in a whole world of hurt. When she said yes to us, I couldn't believe it, to be honest, because she's always on a, quite a few other teams. Yeah. She's very good. Yeah. She, there's no holes sweet. in the game. It's just like a whole team of niceness right there. It really is. Yeah. And Shane, watch every game he plays out, he gets better and better and better. I've talked about it before. Mm -hmm. But he's no slouch out there. He's yeah. not just a goaltender anymore. Right. And then my goalie, <clears throat> that I have a D3. Break cool. Taylor Davis. He's my guy. I'm a, I'll go to war with him any day of the week. And of course, I'm on the team because it's a bandit's team. And Mark's a bandit. And I'm a bandit. So. Blue. Bleed the blue. So. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I think a lot of people look at this roster because they may not know a few of these people, you know, like Chris and Elliot, and they think, oh, uh, we'll probably handle them. I think they're gonna be sh they're gonna be in a world of hurt. They're gonna be in might be in some trouble. Yeah. We're gonna be ready. It's a good one. It's good, but here's some other good teams. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Knights. Yeah. I like the unis down here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're gonna wear them up there too. They're pretty cool. They are. I like the black and gold. Okay. Selena likes the black and gold. She just don't want to admit it. <laughs> Savannah. Oh. I spelled her name wrong yet again. Yep. Miss Selena, like we talked about. Matt Bo or Bowie. How do I? Probably Bo. I talk to him all the time. I, yeah. He's got the mullet going there, man. But he's been doing great things with uh, the Chuckers and uh, the Yetis and all that. He's been playing great. And I, he's pretty damn funny. I love seeing him when he posts stuff. So Ryan Morales, was he on Mafia before? I you don't know. I'm just asking myself. No, I don't myself. recognize the name. I'm pretty Sorry. sure he was. And I don't know if he's even playing this year, but yeah, if it's who I'm thinking of, he they got going. Noah Decker. I feel like I should know. Yeah, that. he's playing on disc replay, and he's probably. Probably the one or second best player goal scoring wise, a young kid and really gets after it. I love his game. We got Troy, uh, you know, Selena's boy toy there, and Aiden Witt, and Mr. Dale Dick and Goal. So they got a lot of their regulars. That's good for them too, that they'll have some chemistry right off the bat, you know, with their mm -hmm. usual team. So, I don't know. Haley, where are you? All right. Number three. The Deck Generals. That's funny because I, before your finger was just mm -hmm. over the name and I immediately thought of Dylan Idol when you said that. Yeah, oh, Mr. Flo is back, yeah. Mr. Flo. <laughs> he is back in the Quad Cities, that's for sure. Um, usually this team finishes second, so they will just show up on... Sunday and just play the championship game, finish second. They could go and do that. <laughs> but you know what? To get the second, typically it means that you're busting ass to get there. And sooner or later, you're going to get the first. And they have the lineup here that can definitely do it. So, speaking of Dylan, I'm so glad to see him back in action. He, he hasn't, yeah, he did score a hat trick week or two ago but some games he's struggling a little bit to score you gotta shake that rust off like we were talking about once he does he's gonna light up mm -hmm. fortunately for me he'll probably do that in waterloo <laughs> cody top fan cunningham i think he's our top fan oh know. yeah he does have a top yeah. fan badge yeah congrats cody where that probably he's been sniping from the point uh, he's getting better and better hubert oh he's Good. on two teams too yeah he, well you know if you don't play like there's some of us do that you, you know you come up on vacation you might as well get more action True. so yeah. uh that legit goal scorer for sure morgan schneiderman peter volt fast little devil well they're fast nightshades yeah morgan oh morgan's on nightshades too yeah okay yeah he impresses me he's got a lot of speed and skill and a good attitude yeah, I really like Schneiderman and obviously Peter. 
Peter gives me a freaking heart attack. <laughs> For, He's reckless. Oh my god. <laughs> so reckless. Just like an energizer buying it's like he's doing parkour out there almost he's just like oh my gosh everywhere so fun to watch but man for someone that's as vanilla as me it scares the shit out of me sometimes <laughs> but nightshades we'll have to talk about when we come back to talk to the about the quest cities nightshades got a lot of young talent they did a great job of reorganizing their rosters like with the jj hartman's the Royals, the peters the swarmers snyderman so We'll have to talk about them a little more next time when we talk QC Dick. I want to talk about QC Dick. <sighs> Jared Doonesbury. I think he's on and R D Doonesbury, excuse me, sorry, Jared. Yeah, he's he's uh I, he's becoming a legit goal scorer. And Nick Cave, he's on the Deckheads five plus team that's just absolutely murdering teams right now. Cool. Oh, yeah, heard they, about that. yeah, they, yeah, they got some damn good skill. It should not be allowed for a deckhead's team, but it is good <laughs> for them, I guess. And then our friend Colt Nelson and goal. Really? Yeah. So that's he, Dylan always put together a hell of a team. Gavin Hubert and Cody and some of these young guys to hold the fort down. Mm-hmm. Hey, Colton and Goal, you know, you know what I think about him, so. Yep. Another good one. Holy crap. Hey, yeah, right. We ain't done That's yet. That's a lot of teams. Well, for, uh, oh, yeah, Jesus. 36 right. 37 minutes. I thought minutes. this might be one of our Short faster, ones. yeah, shorter ones. Nice try. But, yeah, that's because I have old man strength right now, which is number four. They won the tourney old down here. Strength. Yeah. Hmm. They won the tourney with Jordan Lawson and all those guys. Remember last year down oh, here? Oh, that's who that was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're, they picked up the game fast. I wonder, it must be, I, I wonder if they play five on five typically. Probably. They're from Chicago. But yeah, yeah. But the first mm -hmm. game or two, they were a little off. I think even my team with Brian Bush Lightning beat them. But hmm. they really picked the game up quick when it came to the, you know, the, the games that matter. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's probably an easier game to pick up three and three because you don't really have to think. You don't have to think about the offsides, the icing, and all that. And mm -hmm. So, but they did great. Uh, okay, who is on the team though? Warren is. Bill Little that we talked about earlier. Jim King, Chris Coyne. I remember they got a couple just guys that were killing it last year. So, they'll be right there, no doubt. They ain't going to make the trip down to Chicago for nothing. Yeah. Number five, the Seton Scallywags. Scally? Scallywags. Like pirates. Yeah, a person who behaves badly but in a mis mischievous way. It's like pirates. Yeah. What Seton is that? Just what? Like the college? The college? Is there a college out there? Where's Seton at? I have no idea. This is this is all fishy to me because their whole team is listed D five plus. <laughs> that tells me something fishy's going on here. And yeah. when something like that's going on, I don't like it. Because it means I'm gonna be in trouble and the rest of us might be in trouble. Yeah. So in a D five you can have all D five plus. Sure. Sure, but why would they all be D five plus? Let's see I don't how? know. Yeah, very Something's going on. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to get the bottom to it because I'm an employee now. I would love to hear about Seed and Scallywax and their story <laughs> and how they've... And I'm sure I'll learn You'll all learn. about it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Yep. So, Don't know any employers. Don't know where they're from, but see you down there, Scallywax. <laughs> there are going to be a lot of penalties because the person who behaves badly... Who down here misbehaves badly but in a mischievous way? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think about it. Most people that behave bad down here are not mischievous. Yeah. Or not like mysterious. They're, like they're just bad people. Yeah. Just bad. Number six Bush Lattes. Waterloo Bush Lattes. Hmm. There's a little history between them and the old bandits. There are, yeah. 
But that was the Chicago bush lattes, wasn't it? No. Oh, it was That Chicago. was these bush lattes. Oh, okay. Well, I shouldn't say these because they play D4 down here and this is D5. So you may have some different players, obviously, or yeah. may not. <clears throat> yeah, was it Dylan Hamilton? Was that the dude that took my little friend Joyce out? The name Nathan. sounds familiar, so probably. Well, he's not on this team, but I'm just saying. they're. I played them before. They're damn good. They won NDA uh, summer tournament, I think, a couple seasons ago. They just, they talk a lot, typically. Mm -hmm. I, I think Sean so Davis on this team, I think he's that dude that does the backflip after each oh, goal. Sweet. Yeah, someone would have to, like, push me over and roll me around. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Ort, mm -hmm. that's another name, and Jared Lee in goal, which he's always been solid. I remember that name, so they'll bring it. Uh, they'll bring it, and it'll be uh, interesting to watch, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say about that. Yep. Number seven, the Quad City Trashers from right down here in Quad City. Nate Corey. Mike Corey, so a little anarchy love. Mm -hmm. Cody Harkey. I love Cody. He's a good dude. Him and him and his dad and mom are all good people. Tyler Little. You know what I haven't seen is Nate Little. I guess oh, yeah. he's given up the sport. Aw. So R.I.P. Nate Little. You will be missed. He's not related to Tyler Little. Yeah. Really. Yeah, he is. What? Yeah, they are. They're absolutely related. Because there's a little family who plays deck hockey, and I asked Nate if he was related to them, and he said no. No, they're related. The ones that live next oh, to Kelly. Oh, speaking of which, uh, screw that. Okay. If we're on the law. Okay. Uh, Vinny and Matt Garcia are not brothers. This is from like 10 episodes ago. They're actually cousins. Okay. I told you I'd correct that sound later. Yeah. Uh, Marcus Rowan, he's got a lot of speed and skills coming along. I like him. How about Mr. Dom? He plays some great defense. Timpson's allowed to play in D5. I haven't got to Joe Timpson yet. I'm at Dom. <laughs> give Dom a little respect. I was just reading the list. Give Dom. Sorry. Give the popcorn man a little Sorry, love. Dom. Dom. Dom's won actually like seven or eight of these tourneys. He's never won a cup. Seriously? Yeah, he's never won a Quad City Cup, but he's won huh. like all these tourneys. He was on that team with that we won a few seasons ago in Waterloo. The OGs? Yep, he was oh, on there. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yep, he's in the picture. So, now you want to speak about Joe Timpson? I just saw the name and I was surprised, whoops, that he was allowed to play in D5 because he's so fast and so good. Well, you're allowed D4 plus players. Oh, okay. I'm allowed Christian High. He, they can True, be allowed okay. Joe Timpson. I. Do I want to see Joe Timpson? No, but <laughs> that's the rules. <laughs> Even more worrisome for me is Ro Zach Roland, Rolo and Golo. Thank you, Taylor, for that. He put it in our chat once I left. Did he? <laughs> I chuckled. Roland can win games by himself, period. Are you yawning? Yeah. Sorry. Fuck. Give the people yeah. respect. This is a big tourney. It's 10, 21 at night. Holy smokes. Okay. And we're on minute 43, almost 44. All right. <laughs> so anyway, Zach Rowland, yeah. That's probably the best choice you can go you can get for, D, you know, one of them for sure down in D5. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fun to watch. He's a D4 bully, isn't he, for you? Well, he's been helping out because Taylor's been out. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He's D, yeah, he think he's D4 rated. But yeah, he's incredibly good. Uh, number eight, the Waterloo Gators. Uh, they got only five players, so that, that's kind of what worries me about for them. I'm sure they're all the talented, maybe they'll add players, but any team with five players, man, I've done that before in, Wa in Waterloo, not by choice. Not by choice, right, Kim O'Hare? <laughs> not by choice. Does Kim even watch these? I doubt it. I He's just, laid up, probably not paying attention to deck. I hope not. And I'm not mad at Kimo. How can you be mad at Kimo? He can't. No. Nope. Like the next day, I think I came at Quad Cities because he couldn't play because of work. And I was just going, oh. Let him have it. And he's like, hey, Mark. I'm like, hey, buddy. And I hugged him, you know. <laughs> so I don't know. Man, I can see do it with like six forwards or, you know, six. 
at least then you get a full line change. Those teams that do it five, God bless them. I just couldn't. It'd be hard. It would. It would. It's incredible, especially if the weather's hot, which is getting to be. Mm-hmm. We're finally starting to turn the corner, maybe weather-wise down here. So, of course, while there's just not that far away, it's not like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not going up to Minnesota yet. So yeah, they got three buck hands on their team, so they must be all blue brothers. Sperlin and Cajun Wagner is on the team, so. Uh, Gators represent themselves good down here last year. Did they win the NTA? I, I think they spanked us pretty good. I think they won last year down here for D4. So, or, yeah, so. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So, that's it for Waterloo. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I didn't get to go last year, so I'm really excited. Yeah, none of us did. It was COVID. Oh, two years ago. So I haven't been in... <laughs> three years ago was the last time I got to go. Really? Well, it's, it's a... It's a, it's a good time. Bring your dollar bills, y'all. Ow! Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to going down there. I'm just excited to play some high-intensity hockey and see where I really stand. Because I just don't know. Like, Am I just missing a gear that I'm never going to get back? Or is, or I'm going to finally find it again You know, when these games actually matter. So it would be fun to see where we stand at. It's fun to just hang out with people, you know. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we'll all do dinner or something, you know, and get the QC people down there. And what's that brewing place right next door? Side Single points? speed. Single speed, yeah, that's a good time. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, so there's plenty of downtown options. Ow! So, uh, a couple other news and nuggets before we uh, hang it up. Uh, DHF, I saw they were just doing the, they're doing the handling the club championships in Pittsburgh this weekend, so nice. that's cool to watch, you know, I'm not trying to step on any toes by doing my little stupid show, but I'll definitely be watching that, man. I think they're doing some of those games live, that's incredible talent, so. That's cool. I don't know if we'll cover the NDA national tournament, if we do, it'll just be like the lower divisions, because they do a good job of covering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> the, they even have like their little Yeah, they got the land jet. <laughs> like, we'd be throwing people in like our Impala with no air conditioning. Talk <laughs> hockey to us or die. You know, and they got an air conditioned land jet with yeah, comfy you know, couches, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, and TVs. yeah. Yeah, so. And then John Davis, he's trying to get a roller hockey going again a little bit. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to find some people for throughout the Midwest just to get some pickup games or attorneys going, so. That's pretty cool. It's something I'm probably too old for now. Uh-uh. Hmm. We can get us some rollerblades and go play. Maybe. I miss rollerblading. I'm, well, I, it used to be big before, according to Rosner, so. Mm hmm I mean, and it's not like it's going to take away from deck hockey, because whoever you're like John or Sean Clark or Rosner meet, they're going to talk about deck, and these people are going to come down and say, oh, maybe we'll come down and play a turn. It's not like it's taken away from deck. You right. Know, they're trying to find another avenue to have fun because it, it must have been big out west in Cal California when he was there. So Probably. Yeah, if anybody's got roller hockey connections, hit up John Davis on Facebook or something. So he's uh, about the easiest person to talk to. <laughs> so, down there, great guy. So I think that's it for Waterloo. Maybe next month we'll decide to cover Quad City Deck June before we go on a break in July, I think, don't we? I haven't looked at my calendar. I think we did, or is that all star? I have no idea. It seems like every break there's something vote, cocky going vote on. For, I'll have to get out the old fan fan vote to get some votes for the all star game. <laughs> I don't think that's fair to use your platform to get votes. That's totally not fair, and I would never do that. But I am getting near the end of my career, and an all star game wouldn't hurt me if you vote it in, if that's how you get it up. Yeah. So that's that. We'll see you in Waterloo. We actually play Friday night. Maybe we'll blog or something down there a couple of times. Like, hey. Let's go blog some hot tub. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we did get a hot tub. But yeah, I got a, a, I'm starting out this morning with a muffin and an oatmeal or something. Getting ready to go with the game. Or you do like a Facebook Live on the Traffic Lights page. Last time I tried to do Facebook Live, I had it at my actual head the whole time instead of showing what I wanted to show. It lasts like five seconds because I was so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be with you to help oh, yeah. you though. 
<laughs> but yeah, maybe we could, and maybe yeah, meet some of those people in Waterloo and stuff, get to know them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, so we'll see. Thanks for joining. That was episode 10. Can you believe we're in double digits now? Dang. We've I'm done sorry. it. Yeah, so <laughs> hopefully in June we'll talk about more depressing month of deck hockey around here and get ready for that break, so... Somebody back there is ready for vacation again. She is ready for a vacation and bed, I hope. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you uh, next time, eh? Yep. Do you think we'll get sued someday for all this music? I hope not. <laughs> oh! Oh, well, they'll see the actual video before the video. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Give us a shout out if you like our newest intro video, too. That's a lot of work. A lot of work, but I think but it's it was killer. Fun. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. They'll only get better from that one. That was my beginner one. Oh, no. I don't say that big guy. I get one. Can I get out of a certain tie now? Yep. Freaking frying. Yep. Um, oh.